with Pebble Beach and Barocho, we secured nearly 70% of the U.S. allocation being already reserved by connoisseurs who really value the proposition with the PF0 and we are just shipping the car back to Europe. So, so far it exceeded by far our expectation. We are planning to build PF0 from late 2020 onwards. We want to build all 150 cars in less than two and a half years. And of course, while we're speaking today, already the draw drawing plans are out for the next product, which for us is a lifestyle um, sport product. It has four seats, it will have four doors, it will have a very sporty body style, yet it will not be a pure sports car, but it will have the performance of a sports car packaged in something which is much more usable on a day-to-day -day basis. So that car we're looking at launching to the later part of 2021. And then we assume that we will have one more product every year until we have four products up in the market. And then we will look at um, different variants of the specific products. So I think we keep our customers and our retail partners quite busy with the brand. Well, there are many parties involved and of course uh, Munich will be leading as a think tank. Italy will be the design hub, uh, leading the aesthetics between our Pinifrina SBA designers and my small own design team, which are in charge of making the aesthetics beautiful and mind-blowing. Munich will lead from 4.0 technologies point of view. India predominantly is our strategic investor. And uh, thanks to Anand Mahindra and Pavan Goenka, we have a very long-term plan agreed with them. But the majority of the work will be split between Italy, Munich and technology partners as we announced today with Remats and Croatia. And currently we're also looking at the US because I personally think the best is Italian design, German European engineering and a little bit of flavor of Silicon Valley technology. Well, when we presented the PF0 in Pebble Beach, we basically said it has three to four very unique features. It's purity, the purity of design and the purity of the emissions. It's beauty, naturally, because Pinifarina stands for beauty. It has the element of rarity. That's what, you know, that's distinct target audience is looking at. Uh, there will be globally 150 vehicles of those. Um, so that is a very small, tiny offering for a huge um, international selective audience who wants to have this first electrical luxury hypercar. And last but not least, it's the performance. We give him the car double of the performance of a Formula One car. And um, that's, I think, what it makes it in this combination unique. There's nothing else to offer in the market right now.